Hello, my lovely people, and welcome back to another speed build. Welcome back to my channel, guys, and I hope you had an amazing day, an amazing week, of course. And yep, here I am making another huge, huge family house, and this is going to last because it's oh my god, it's 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 huge, it's a gigantic house. Um, because we also have a lot of like um uh, bedrooms here i believe four yeah four or five bathrooms oh um recently lately basically I, I, the only thing i know is to make like a huge huge house um with a lot of bedrooms and this takes time guys really really is um and when you want to have like a two videos per week uh, yeah it's a hell of a ride but Look, um, I am enjoying this so much and I love doing this so freaking much, um, especially when I have amazing ideas. So yeah, here I am once again making um, a huge family house and I am in love with this because it really looks like a modern farmhouse, like a converted modern farmhouse, um, especially in this world. This is Brinton Bay. Um, last time i showed you guys my you can see that in the corner um my beautiful like a uh, victorian slash coastal family house that has five bedrooms i believe yeah this is no exception um one room less but still a huge house so if you have like different families um you know it could be very cool for the gameplay so they can be neighbors and you can make some kind of a cool story uh, for that yeah we have this huge house like i said um since i already took so much space for the front of the house i decided to go wild and make like a huge uh, driveway for the car um garage also one like beautiful sitting space in front of the uh, fire pit in front but in the back we also have a huge pool and oh my god what else yeah um you know sitting area something like that um it's very beautiful it's very neat it's very modern um and i use basically black and white not just for the exterior but also for the interior because that is something that i don't know somehow very common these days um that kind of a style and also the colors color scheme it's very like neutral colors these days uh but i do love it you know that i'm not very crazy about the colors especially you know color combinations uh although the like the bedrooms are very colorful colorful um especially for the kids but um yeah <laughs> for the parents it's not <laughs> and the rest of the house is not but here i am uh, finishing up this um like a landscape and uh especially now the backyard because i'm going to uh, make like a pool area and everything um we have a lot of different entries in this house from the all over the place in the front two in the back uh, also for the parents bedroom because the parents is downstairs they are downstairs which is also very cool and they have like a, a like their own personal entry and also um, they have like access to this area over here and they have like a small porch it's so freaking adorable not to mention that I also put uh, a huge garage here with a lot of different things uh very realistic and also huge laundry room guys we have huge laundry room which is functional of course if you have a laundry day um as a back and what else we have an office and uh, like additional family family um family room and i have to be quite honest um, this house comes very handy um after a lot of updates and the packs that we got such as um, the sims for foreign uh, growing together 
you know, uh, we have a lot of more like activities and interesting things to add to our family houses. If you love to play with the families, especially a big families, <laughs> yeah. But we got very interesting objects, a lot of different activities. Like I said, I try to put uh, the tree house somewhere around this um, uh, backyard, but. I, I I I didn't want to exaggerate, um, but I did um, leave you guys a lot of space, especially in this area over here, uh, so you can add something that you love or you need uh, for your family. You have a plenty of space for a lot of different activities also, um, especially where the pool area is. I didn't want to exaggerate, like I said, but... The house itself, like the interior, it's not very personalized, especially like uh, family family rooms, uh, like kitchen, dining, things like that. You can always um, add a couple of things. Um, I I really try to leave you guys uh, a little bit space to you know uh, add some of your touch or something that you need. Uh, the bedrooms. Are are pretty personal for me but you can still adjust them and probably change the color or add something else that you need I also also included a pets oh my god why I am keep forgetting a pets this time I added um, a lot of different things for pets um, you can have and dog and the cats amazing i'm so happy because i keep forgetting them and that it's very very bad for me as a builder because just because i i'm just a builder and he, i just i can i keep you know somehow i can forget a lot of things that you actually need um when we got a home shelf home shelf stuff pack i believe that's the name I keep forgetting to add uh, those appliances I don't know if you need them you can add them especially because I'm making like a huge kitchens and I'm always leaving a space so you can add or remove something that you need or add something that you actually need for the gameplay and um, and always forgetting a fire alarm yeah this is a video where I am shading myself <laughs> But it doesn't matter. I'm quite honest. You know that I'm very honest. Um, when it comes to my builds and my channel in general, I'm very honest. And um, that's the best thing when you know to, I, just, I don't know, to admit um, where you are wrong and where you guys can actually, you know, improve something in my build. Because I really love to do that. Because I really love when you guys um, change something, add something. And I love when you tag me um, in using my builds. Not just for the gameplay, but maybe for the showcase or, you know, taking pictures and making stories. Things like that. It's such a cool thing. And I'm not mad at all when you change something. Do whatever you want with my build. I'm here just to give you like a starting point um, for your for your other stories I don't know yeah we have finished a lot of those uh, like a basic stuff in this house you know dining kitchen kitchens are a nightmare for me believe me because I'm always like making huge kitchens and um, I need to figure out what I'm going to do but this is the family room um, it's very spacious and quite, I must say, empty. But uh, I was talking about that previously um, because I really wanted to leave you a, a lot of space for, so you can add something. Especially if you have infant or toddler, they need a lot of like different activities uh, for the game. So yeah, I, I decided to do that. Um, I didn't want to exaggerate with the details and the, a lot of clutter because this house is already extremely big and probably heavy. Yeah, <laughs> probably heavy. Um, the office, it's the must when you're asking me uh, when we have a houses like this. Um, like I said, I made this pretty generic and um, 
you know basic so you can decide who is going to live here and um, which family is going to live here and what they are going to do uh, with their life and um, you know who is dad or mom something like that yeah I also downloaded one pack from uh, Sixum he has amazing um, stuff for pets so I added all those items over here in the laundry room um, I love using Sixum's uh, custom content lately very very much uh, especially he also have one home home oh my god i cannot remember the name home improvement something like that set with all those like uh you know he, um, things especially now for the for the rent they are now every uh, all functional and it's so cool you're going to find that on my patreon page with all cc links uh, you're going to find that uh, set also please download it if or if you want to your build looks like very realistic and uh they are all like like i said functional items which is very cool um and yeah the last bedroom last room on this main floor is a parent's bedroom it's huge and they also have um like own sweet bathroom situation very very spacious i didn't know what to do so a lot of this bedroom is a little bit empty but i didn't know what to add and i thought maybe it's too much i didn't want to exaggerate so i added a couple of like um, necessary things nothing special nothing heavy um like i said you can add or remove um everything if you don't like it like even a bed it doesn't matter but i really do love kids bedroom they are very like personal and you can tell right away who is living and who is using like this specific bedroom this is for the biggest maybe older sim uh kid and uh, two other bedrooms are for like a smaller kid i love the colors i love color scheme i love the items that i chose for each this of this bedroom and yeah like always i didn't record the bathrooms because they are basically like the same um it's, it's boring it's boring it's extremely boring to me so that's the reason why i didn't want to record it not for this or any other build that i'm doing guys but yeah basically we are finishing up oh my god this is the last bedroom like always you can find this on my patreon page with tray files and cc links and also on my gallery if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and yeah hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future content that's about it guys i love you all and um see you next time in my next build you stay for the house tour and um love you all bye bye